Hi, welcome to another segment of the Western Wisconsin Journal. I'm Leela Albert, director of the Octagon House Museum. And today I'm with Abby Turner, our assistant director at the museum, and Jackie Bradham, longtime St. Croix County Historical Society volunteer. And today we're gonna share a little bit about what's happening at the Octagon House Museum this coming season. Um, our opening season will be the first Friday of May through the end of October. Um, you can find out specific information, details online on our website, stcroixcountyhistory.org, or on Facebook as well. Um, we will be open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from 11 a.m. until 4 p.m. Tours will be on the hour, the last tour departs at three o'clock. And this year's theme is going to be prohibition, temperance or speak easy. We've been doing lots of research. research and planning, getting ready for the season. We've got some books we've been looking at, lots of Hudson Star Observer articles for a number of years that we've gone through at the at the library here in Hudson in the history room. It's a great resource. And um, we're gonna have lots of events that will talk about that theme this year. Um, and we have, with all of those events, lots of volunteer opportunities. Jackie, do you wanna share about that? <laughs> we have a volunteer open house coming up on March 23rd, and that's gonna be from three to 6 p.m. And we encourage anyone that's interested in learning about the historical society and potentially becoming a, a volunteer to come and um, we'll have some of our regular volunteers there so you get to meet some mm -hmm. of the people that already work there. It's a great opportunity to um, meet new people and also to um, um, lend your talents. We, we are always in need of volunteers as are most mm -hmm. um, uh, volunteer organizations. Um, the unique thing about I think about the Historical Society is the wide variety of volunteers, yes. positions that are available and they're needed. So we work on uh, preserving our artifacts. So there's a group that works up in our research center on uh, preserving artifacts, textiles, uh, photographs, um, one of our volunte volunteers, Dick uh, Nelson, has been busy scanning our collection. Mm -hmm. We have over 4,000 photos, so we're trying to scan those. Um, uh, other um, committees would be um, the research center for uh, research assistance. So um, if you are a history buff, <laughs> um, the, working in the research center and doing research for us um, is one of the projects you can do. Um, that requires learning how to do research and mm -hmm. we're, we've got people available to help train. So um, that's th for the person that really loves history. The researching is, is great. And basically you get to learn what all the area resources are and get to right. dig in and do that research. So it's fun. Um, if you're a gardener, we've got lots of opportunities in the garden. For We have a beautiful, beautifully maintained garden and lots of volunteers that work really hard to keep that uh, in shape. Um, other areas is the publicity committee. We could use help with that, oh, yeah. and that's everything from websites to social media to press releases, mm -hmm. photography. Um, there's just an, an amazing amount of opportunities there at the are. museum. And no matter what you like, we can find a task that would fit your skills. So if you're interested in volunteering, please um, come to our open house on March 23rd from 3 to 6. And if uh, you can't make that date, please feel free to give us a call. Um, our phone number. 715-386-2654. <laughs> you would think after 20 years I would have that phone number, but no, I can never remember that phone number. So there are many volunteer opportunities. So please come and, and ask questions and learn more. Oh, and for the volunteer open house, I'm bringing Girl Scout cookies. Woohoo! So if you're a cookie yes. fan, <laughs> yes. all you got to come do is hang out with us for a little bit and find and out if, about opportunities. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're a cookie baker, you can come and sign up to be a volunteer to bake cookies right. for our events, yeah, right? for all the events, that's right. <laughs> Never say no to that. Never say no to cookies. <laughs> Girl Scout or otherwise. Right. So, yeah. 
Um, and then also, we are going to have lots of events coming up this season. Um, our regular events that occur over the spring, Jackie, maybe you can yeah. talk about so, those. Um, one of the a standard, or what I guess, annual activity that, or event that we have is our Mother's Day and Father's Day tour. So we always try to honor mothers and fathers on their respective days, and they are, um, um, have free admission. Uh, to the museum tour. So it's kind of fun. You can get multi-generationals coming to the museum mm -hmm. for a tour. It's, that's a lot of fun. And then um, one of our early uh, events in June 1st is the Master Gardeners, St. Croix Valley Master Gardeners plant sale. That's a, mm -hmm. a big event. Um, it's a good and, one. It's a good one. And there's a l big selection of uh, plants there. And um, the proceeds go back to the Master Gardeners, and they do good things with those, beautifying the city with those funds. So another event we have coming up on June 23rd and 22nd and 23rd is the Artful Garden Tour. That's another mm -hmm. annual event that we do, and that's a, a, a tour of Hudson area business or gardens. So sometimes they get down in the River Falls area, so it's not strictly Hudson, right. but that um, that's the Women's Club, I believe, that does that yeah, uh, tour. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's always a fun one. So both of those are kind of, if you like the gardens, those are the <laughs> two, two mm -hmm. big garden events. Yeah. So. And it's springtime. And it's springtime. We're yeah. done with winter. <laughs> <laughs> we have those pretty little blue flowers. I think they're called Alyssa that come up uh, every year in the, yeah. in the garden. Yeah. They're always uh, happy to see those. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Then the tulips follow and we have some um, different early plants. So the yeah. gardeners have thought about us. <laughs> And got All those year. early, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, gar get flowers year round. Right. <laughs> yeah, um, some other things that we're going to have this year are um, we've been working on educational programming because, Abby, your background is education, so you've been kind of taking the lead a little bit or at least providing extensive guidance, <laughs> yes. implementing educational programs. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. Um, so we really like to reach out to the community and with the kids and to teach them about Hudson and the Hudson area. So uh, one of the big things we do is classroom visits. So we have pre-planned activities that we do um, with the classroom. You can send us an email, you know, we'll work one-on-one -on -one with the teacher, figure out what they're looking for. So, you know, we really meet the classroom's needs or we can even come up with a new lesson plan. So if the class is doing something very specific with Hudson history or here in the St. Croix Valley, we can figure something out. Um, but we love to do that. I come into the classroom and work with the kids and it's really fun. We like to have the kids mm -hmm. come to the house, do educational tours. Um, we've done a couple of those. So again, you can let us know what are you kind of looking for at the house and we meet your needs and the kids always have a great time. They love to yeah. come through the house. They love to have me yeah. visit. <laughs> the mm -hmm. the fun part about it is all the kids that will come back and they'll say, "Oh, I've been to the art yeah, right. house." So right. every, every is it third graders now <clears throat> that we're doing? Mm -hmm. So um, every third grader will come up and and they'll remember and they'll right. talk about it. And mm -hmm. one of the things is the artifact cart which you bring to the classroom, and the kids are so excited when they get to go to the museum and see their artifact. Right, <laughs> that's the best um, part. They'll point it out and they'll explain it to me. And I taught it to them a couple months ago, and I'm like, oh, yeah. you did listen. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Lots of fun. Mm -hmm. I love going through Hudson, and when a kid who I saw three months ago in the classroom is like, oh, I met you, and I'm like, yes, you did. <laughs> I'm glad I left an impression. Mm -hmm. But we like to come to the school, so please send us an email, um, and we make the time to come in and try to help you as best we can in the classroom for whatever you're doing. Um, in the summer, we also continue education. So we have two big programs um, we're gonna do this summer. One is called the One Room Schoolhouse um, Hours. So for an hour uh, every month, uh, kids will come to mm -hmm. Octagon House. And this year's theme is the three R's, reading, writing, and arithmetic. <laughs> <laughs> Even though two of those don't start with an R, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> One of those phrases. But the kids will come, and we really want them to help us out in our garden house, which is full of old items, such as old farming tools, old tools that were used to be used in the home. And we want kids to learn about these items, so they're going to read about them, they're going to write about them, right. they're going to figure out the arithmetic behind them, <laughs> all those things, and then they get to present them at our family fun night. So it should be pretty fun, and we accept um, ages seven. Seven. Seven, seven to twelve, I yep. think. Seven yeah. to twelve. 
So like I said, good time. Um, another activity we're doing is Pioneer History um, with the Hudson Area Public Library. So that's going to be the last week of July. Um, the kids will come to the library. It's from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. And every day is focused on a new aspect of Hudson history in the 1800s. So, for example, um, our first day is life out in the country. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have a Laura Ingalls Wilder visit. <laughs> Should be a lot of fun. <laughs> Should be great. Mm -hmm. And the kids are going to learn, you know, what kind of chores what they have been expected to do out in the country. Um, what kind of things would you eat and so on. What kind of activities. The next day would be city life. So um, on Tuesday, we would learn about what did city life in Hudson look like in the mm -hmm. 1800s. Meet Mary Moffat. Meet Mary Moffat. Yeah, at the Octagon House. Yes, at the Octagon House. So um, that will be super fun. You can find information for that on our website, right. um, at the Hudson Public Library website. Please look into it. It will be a good time. Yeah, it will be a lot of fun. Yeah, it will be. So, and your kids will learn lots, and then they can teach you all about the area. That's right. Hudson, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Your own yeah. little personal tour guide. Right, <laughs> when right. You go out. Yeah, also this summer, um, we're going to have some events happening throughout the season. Uh, one of our first ones will be the summer solstice event. That was a big hit last year. It's in the evening on solstice day, I close, think. We're close. close. It's the day before okay. Solstice, okay. summer solstice. Um, but it'll be in the evening, and mm -hmm. it was a great turnout last year. People made... Um, we made live flower used live flowers yeah, to make from the hair garden. wreaths from the garden and and uh, and other places mm -hmm. and we made the hair wreaths and then um, we had a little a small bonfire and we were able to write our our troubles on a slip of paper and turn them into ashes in the mm -hmm. bonfire. Right. So yeah, we had lots of fun, fun yeah. learning about the, the language of flowers and some of the solstice tra traditions that have yeah. been um, superstitions, traditions that have been through the years. Right, yeah, for yeah, eons. <laughs> <laughs> um, another great event is our Civil War encampment. Mm -hmm. And at the same time as that, we also have an ice cream social. Um, We'll do that again this year. We have yeah. our um, reenactors. They Prescott do, Guard. Yeah, the Prescott Guard. They do a great job. They're amazing. Um, so it's a lot of fun. It's on the lawn at the Octagon House. Bring out some Civil War era weapons from our collection. <clears throat> um, so yeah, there's there's lots to learn about. It's a really great fun day. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then in August. We have our family fun night, Abby mentioned earlier, that will include a presentation by the kids who attend our summer camp. And um, it's open to the neighborhood and to the Hudson community um, mm -hmm. from wherever. So mm -hmm. just yeah. come That's and hang out in the yard. Play games, games, activities, yeah. Yeah. events, yeah. Fun, yeah. Night. Um, lots snacks. Of fun night. Snacks. Yep. Yeah, I love <laughs> snacks. <laughs> um, and then kind of the end of summer, we have our vintage and variety sale. It's a great mm -hmm. opportunity. Come down to the Octagon House. You can find so many unique vintage and antique pieces yeah. even for, for great prices, and it goes to a great cause. Yeah, it, it, history. It, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the other thing about that is, is we take donations for that. So it, right. it's a community event. But the, most of the things that we sell at that sale mm -hmm. have been donated to us. And um, it's not just a garage sale, it is uh, vintage stuff yeah, gets donated really to us. Mm -hmm. and, and it's kind of unique in that respect. And right. some of the things that have come in over oh, the yeah. years, the spinning wheel, and uh, someone donated a little miniature steam engine. I mm -hmm. mean, there's just really amazing artifacts. Yeah, uh, a lot of great Good pieces. place to get rid of Nana's China, though. We haven't, quite, <laughs> yep. haven't, we haven't found any, a craft right. items for some yeah. of that stuff. Yeah. We just have, you know, we get a lot of, a lot of, um, mm -hmm. um, Things that uh, you know, younger generation aren't interested in, but yeah. there's a lot of antiques and collectibles. Yeah. So yeah, I brought home <laughs> too much, nice, right? Nice handful yep. of treasures. My mom cleared it out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, and then another thing we're doing again this season. Abby's been taking the lead on is our Hudson History Pub Crawls. You want to tell us about that a little bit? I guess. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so um, starting April up through October, um, this year we're looking at doing the third Saturday of every month. We're going to do what we call the Hudson History Pub Crawl. So Hudson is a pretty old town and it's in Wisconsin. So we have a lot of different pubs and buildings that have a long history to them. Mm -hmm. So we go from pub to pub. Um, we talk about the history of the building. You get a little time to have a drink, um, and then we walk to the next building and 
talk about more of the history. And since this year our theme is prohibition, um, some of the pubs we visit do have quite the uh, illustrious prohibition history <laughs> is one way to put it so we focus on that we talk about you know what did they do during the prohibition era mm -hmm. how did people you know hide the booze and whatnot there and how are these uh these pups still thriving and right doing right. great mm -hmm. so on so it's a really fun time again you can find the information for that on our facebook page and on the website um tickets are uh twenty dollars a person uh, so. they're in, yep. Yep. They're on your sheet. <laughs> yeah. um, and then um, a discount for, um, oh, it's on the other side. Yep, $20 a person or $18 for Historical Society members. Mm -hmm. It's and a great family event. It's a great date night event. We've had some mm -hmm. pretty good dates on those. You're welcome. <laughs> you do need to be 21 or older to come. Right. Yep. <laughs> yes. That is a big one. Um, um, but it's an awesome time. If you have questions, give us a call. I'd love to talk about it. And... Hope to see you on one of our tours. Yeah, it's it's a lot of a lot of fun stuff going mm -hmm. on. Um, we're putting well finishing putting together our calendar that um, it'll fold up. <laughs> really great. It's inside of our brochure. So stop by the Octagon House anytime. Um, well, once when we're, we're open, when we're open, it's better. <laughs> and um, you can <laughs> try in the winter. There's not always somebody there, but I'm there quite often. And they will be down at the Hudson Chamber once they're updated. We'll right. get them down at mm -hmm. the Chamber. has a great kiosk with all the area. Yeah, all kinds of things. All kinds of here. stuff to right, do in Hudson. Right. And they're, um, um, one of the things that we didn't mention for spring is our eighth grade history tour. Oh, yeah. That is a yeah. huge event yeah. for us. It's, it's like all volunteers <laughs> on, yeah. on hand. It takes a lot of volunteers. Really we have does. the whole eight, Hudson High School eighth grade class. Um, you know, hundreds of students coming through, and in the morning we do a walking tour where they uh, each student is assigned um, a historic residence person, mm -hmm. personality, spirit, <laughs> ghost, I don't know, uh, personality, and on the tour they will get to see where that person is buried. They will get to t walk on a tour to see where that person's home it was. And then when, at the museum, they'll get to see an artifact of something that actually belonged to that person. So it's a great way, personal way for them to get to learn about the history. Mm -hmm. And then the afternoon, we have um, different activities for them right. down at Lakefront Park. Yeah, and another great opportunity for, oh, great opportunity for volunteers. volunteers. <laughs> so if you're looking to volunteer, we would love to have the help. We're a fun um, group. Yeah, we're <laughs> super fun. We have lots of cookies. Yeah. Um, we have, like, the the Civil War reenactors will come for eighth grade tour. Right. Bruce Elliott yeah. uh, uh, brings his jitney bus from the Yellowstone Trail era and uh, different artifacts and uh, games and ki for the kids. So Yeah, it's yeah. a really, really it's a fun event. One of my first days, actually, <laughs> last year. Come in with a bang. <laughs> it's a big event. Yeah, so come on down and see us at the Octagon House. Um, we open May 3rd. We'll be open through October 26th, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Call us, 715-386-2654. Like us on Facebook. Check out our website. Um, and thanks for watching. <laughs>